Well, tonight, a former high school teacher from Berkeley is facing a string of charges amid claims he groomed students for sex. 42-year-old Jason DeBant faces one count of criminal sexual conduct and another charge surrounding what allegedly happened inside his home. Rod Maloney following that story tonight. Rod. The first we heard about this case was back in August of 2020 when a young woman made a Facebook post wondering why it was that the accused was still being allowed to teach. That spawned the police investigation. This is 42-year-old Jason DeBent, former choir instructor, now charged with third-degree criminal sexual conduct and sending sexually explicit material to a minor. The investigation started here in Livonia at Clarenceville High School, where the first woman to speak out attended. DeBent lives in Berkeley, and Berkeley Police Detective Lieutenant Andrew Hadfield says that they received the case from Livonia PD. They identified two of the females that were uh, had been to the home in Berkeley. Um, where there was allegations of inappropriate conduct um, that could have been criminal. The Oakland County prosecutor filed charges May 25th. The man turned himself into police for arraignment on May 28th. He's out on $10,000 personal bond. If found guilty, he could face 15 years in prison. Berkeley police say DeMant was slow and deliberate, allegedly grooming his victims. Let's start with just helping him uh, to go to the store or he would buy them gifts. Uh, which ended up with one of them uh, cleaning his house for him to help him out. Um, that slowly moved into basically sexual occurrences that happened in his home. Last September, 10 alleged victims filed a civil suit against DeBant, a former student saying at a press conference, We need justice. We will no longer let anyone silence us. We are so strong now. We always have been, but now we're ready. We spoke with Livonia police today, and they say that they continued their investigation, and they have built a case and sent it off to Kim Worthy's office, and the prosecutor's office is now reviewing that case. In the meantime, I also spoke to DeMant's attorney. His attorney says that his client has done nothing wrong, and he says that the presumption of innocence should prevail here. In Livonia, Rod Maloney, Local 4.